Hi, welcome back everyone. This is part 4 out of 5 short tutorial videos on how to get started with Perceptilabs. Labs. By now, we installed and ran Perceptilabs, Labs, went over the UI, and went through the modeling process where we built a transfer learning model from scratch. Let's get to the fun part now and see how the model is performing during the training and evaluation phases. Okay, so we built the model, we set the training settings, and we're now ready to run. So let's get to it. As soon as you start training the model, you'll get thrown into this training dashboard, which gives you live statistics over how the training is going. You can go and look at this target one tab for a nice overview. In here, we can see the accuracy, so how well it's performing, as well as the loss of the model. As soon as the training finishes, you'll get this little overview that shows you how well it performed. You can also go straight to test from here to try out and evaluate your model. This will take you to the evaluation view. Before we do that though, let's keep looking at this dashboard. Besides the accuracy and loss, you can also see the predictions for each class. What this one means is that for the class no, we predicted it as class no 15 times and class yes 12 times. So we correctly classified it 15 times and wrongly 12 times. Similarly, for the yes class, we classified yes 22 times and no one time. As we see, we can have a little bit of improvement here, but the general gist of it is you want to make sure that each of these columns is a single color. If you're familiar with the confusion matrix, this works just like that. Over to the left of it, you can see predictions versus ground truth, or labels. This shows you a single sample of how it predicts versus what it should predict. If we look here in the bottom right, you see something which we call the view box. You can change the view box by pressing the components over in the map. This lets you peek into each and every component during training and get live updates on how they look like while you're training. You can see things such as the output, the weights and biases, and the gradients. This makes it excellent for debugging and finding what goes wrong during training in your model. The last tab I want to show is the performance tab. In here we can see the precision, the recall, and the F1 score. You can change if you want to see it for the validation or for the training. And you can also choose which classes you want to see it for. Finally, we have the global loss. This shows the same as the loss function over in the target view. However, you can also see a more detailed view of it here, which shows per iteration instead of just per epoch, which the bottom one shows. After the training has finished and we're satisfied with the model, we can go to the evaluate view and run a test on the model. We'll then choose which model we want to test. In this case, we only trained one so far. And then choose what tests we want to run on it. We'll then start running the tests and give us some results. In this case, we get a uh, table of different statistics of how well it performed on the testing data. In this case, we can see that the accuracy on the test is only 50%. We can also look at the confusion matrix, which says about the same thing. For class zero, which is no, we can see it predicted zero or no four times, or it predicted yes two times. For class one, we can see it predicted yes nine times, but no 11 times, meaning that it predicts no more than yes for the yes category. This test can help you evaluate how well your model performs and decide if you want to take it to production or not for the deploy view, which we'll go over in the next video. Great, now we have built, trained and tested the model. Next step is to deploy it to production or share it with your friends and teammates. We'll go over how to do that in our last tutorial in this series, Getting Started with Perceptilabs. 
Don't forget to visit our forum at forum.perceptlabs.com. Reach out to me directly at our Slack channel if you have any issues, suggestions, or just want to get in touch. Thank you for watching.